What's going on guys and welcome on in. Let's talk about the new abyss floors that just got released today. I recently completed floors 101 and 102 on stream today with the help of my chat. And I want to go over the overall strategy, the units I used, the stats they have, and kind of just a quick comprehensive guide on how to complete floors 101 and 102 as easily as possible. Keep in mind guys, this has been out less Abyss has been out for less than a day, so you will see me using some limited units, some Moonlight 5 stars. Unfortunately, haven't had time to test out all the free-to-play or every single other option that's available, but I can try to provide some alternatives at the end that I've heard work, confirmed work from people that showed me proof, or based on the strategy we're doing, ideas that I think should work just as well, other optional units, okay? But first, let's go over the strategy for Floor 101. So I'm going to play here. I got some backup footage from today's stream. Ignore um, my talking face at the bottom left. I have it muted, and I'm just going to talk over this dummy over here. Okay. So as you can see, I chose to use Flurry, Busy, Spectre Tenny, and Tamarin. The reason we have Spectre Tenny is because this is going to be a poison-based fight, meaning poison is going to be... What carries us actually both through this floor and the next floor. And even with abusing kind of poison mechanics, both of these floors were not exactly easy. As I think I am fairly overgeared, I had some help figuring out some mechanics so I didn't have to do a lot of trial runs. The floors aren't... Floors 101 and 102 strike me as being a little bit more difficult so far than when floors 91 to 100 opened up. But let's talk about the strategy. So this first part against this water-powered... Energia? This floating rock. It's a fairly simple first phase. You want to save up as many souls as you can. The boss has a reduced damage mechanic anytime you hit him. But since we're using poison, it doesn't matter too much what I hit here. If you're if your overall damage output isn't from poison, you will have to keep you, you will be have to be aware of the damage reduction mechanic. But since poison is ignores all that. All I'm doing here is trying to save my skill cooldowns. I do use Dizzy here to cycle, make sure my units stay healthy. But other than that, I'm just spamming S1s on most units. And we're trying to save souls. The next, the next mechanic to keep an eye out for is if you do not kill the boss within seven turns, seven of the boss's turns, he will enrage and steal all of your souls, which are very, very beneficial moving into the next phase, which will be the Furious Fight. So to recap real fast, save your skills, try to cycle as many um, skills as possible for more souls, but have your cooldowns ready for the next phase and try to save everything possible. Try to kill the boss within seven turns. And I think that about covers it for the first fight. I'll go over why I use some of these units in the next section. So let's fast forward a little bit. As you can see, just loading up a ton, a ton of poisons. Taking it very slow. We're building up all the souls. My Tamarin S3 is ready. Locked and loaded. And on the boss's next turn, he should pop. Due to these six poisons. Boom. Okay. Next phase. Furious fight. This is where things get a little bit trickier. The reason I brought Flurry here, guys, is because one, we just want a knight to soak up some damage. I have Aureus on her. She provides extra healing. She cycles fast. The biggest thing, though, would be her skill three. Her skill three will allow you to remove Furious's buffs, which we will only want to remove during the two phases of this fight. Beyond that, the general gist of the fight is Furious will provide buffs to him and these three soldier boys. One of them being his own skill three up here. And the other being a triggered mechanic that happens at both 70% of his health and at 40%. So once you breach 70% of his health, he triggers this mechanic and also at 40%. Those are the most important thresholds you need to keep an eye out for. At 70% health, he will give him and his entire team a three turn or a three stack, excuse me, three stack of skill nullifier. Not only is it a skill nullifier, but it also increases the damage of, the, of his entire party by a lot. If you leave this up, your units are going to get hammered and probably die within one, two, three shots. 
Now, I have heard, and I'll cover this at the end of this fight, viable alternatives. But I do think that double poison instead of running dizzy here is an option. But I am gonna go. I'm gonna show you why dizzy is so important to remove those skill nulls. And I'm not sure what other unit can clear these skill nulls as efficiently as dizzy. Because you're gonna want you're gonna want a skill that that hits AOE and can be provided on two turns. Because that's gonna knock off two entire stacks of the skill nullifier on Furious's entire squad. I'm not sure who else can do that on a soul burn or on a multi-turn basis. So if you have any ideas, ideas guys, please let me know in the comments below on maybe alternative options. But if you don't have Dizzy, just run a second poison damage dealer, okay? All right, so now we got the basics down. We just gotta keep an eye out for Furious' health at 70% and at 40%. We're gonna save our souls for, like I said, those two thresholds for both the Dizzy Soul Burn to remove some skill nullifiers. And potentially Arky can also remove a, a single stack, but his the soul cost is much higher than using Dizzy. So I'm letting Tamar and S3 rip here just because I expect to have it up again by the time he's around 70 or at least around 40. Tam is really not necessary either. She's just very nice. I was testing with Momo and Tama makes it much easier because of the CR push, the attack up. She's just overall better than Momo and the party wide cleanse is much better of course too. That being said, DN and Momo will both work. It kind of just is up to preference, but I had the best results with Tamarin. Of course, he has all the skills packed in one unit. So let's go ahead and fast forward here until we get to 70%, in which case I'll show you the mechanic that is supposed to pop. Almost there, almost there. Oop, pass it up a little bit. Okay, coming up here on Furious's next turn. So he hits the 70%. We might have actually even, if you have enough poisons, guys, which I was saying, Kyrus plus Spectenny, could just push him all the way to 40 and you skip an entire phase. But there you go, you see that? Three stack of skill nullifier on him and his entire squad. This also improves their damage or boosts their damage, which means you cannot just let it sit here unless you have a ton of poisons ready to knock him down um, quickly. I actually messed up here and let the flurry rip right before his skill or before his S3. This kind of shows you that flurry is not necessary, but most people have a flurry ready. She's accessible to everybody. She's a knight that can take up damage like I mentioned. And then removing those buffs that he will cast next turn is what you can and should do if you have her, okay? Almost any other knight would work here. Perhaps you want to use Lilius because, as I'll show you, she's very important for floor 102. But in this fight, the, the front knight doesn't matter. The soul weaver doesn't matter. And Dizzy and Spectenny can both be replaced by more poison if possible. So the speed buff and the crit buff is what I should have removed Flurry, but you'll see that it doesn't even matter. Fast forward a little bit here. Dizzy on Soulburn. We get the Furious, all of Furious's buffs off, meaning my Dizzy lives in that in that exact hit, and all of the. Fodder units also get their skill null removed as well. From here on out, even if Dizzy dies, we should be okay. Luckily, he hits someone else. And the fodder units don't finish off Dizzy. But Tama's S3 is ready here. We're going to cycle up, get more poisons, and pretty much secure the end of this fight. So overall, keep an eye out for the two breakpoints. 70%, 40%. Make sure you move the skill nullifiers, or if you're going balls to the wall, poison damage. Make sure you bring enough poison and cyclers to ensure the kill. You can push him from, try to push, line up the poisons to push him all the way from 100 to 40 if possible. That way you don't have to go through two different skill nullifier setups. And that should lock out the fight fairly easily, okay? So bring a lot of poison, any knight of your choice. And then Tamarin, Dizzy, or Momo, in my opinion, as the Soul Weaver. I believe Akades could work as well. 
Really, they're just there to kind of keep the team alive and remove the debuffs. Let's fast forward a bit to see just the end. Furious pops due to all the poisons. And that's a wrap for Floor 101. The stats that I had, nothing is super required except make sure your spec Tenny has, you know, 65% effectiveness to hit the threshold for resistance. Make sure Dizzy as well, speedy effectiveness. The overall stat allocation for this floor in particular is not important at all. Just make sure you, I think you could even do this on 70, 85 free gear. It's more about site. It's more about preparing all your souls and having the right setup during Furious's 70% and 40% phases. If you can survive that, most people here will be able to do this fairly easily if you have access and you should have access to Kyrus, Falconer Clurry, a free healer, and then throw in a fourth unit of your choice. If you happen to have Spectator or Dizzy, that's also very easy mode, but I'm sure it can work with Fire Shuri, for example, and Kyrus. All right, guys, I think I'm actually going to split this into two, so keep stay tuned. I'm going to upload the Floor 102 video right after. Let me know your results. If you have any other especially more accessible options, guys, please let me know in the comments below. I just wanted to throw out a quick abyss guide or not even really guide just a you know showcase of what i use maybe this will help out some people and i would like to hear from you guys on more accessible units that other people can use and i can let them know about all right so stay tuned guys for floor 102 thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in a little bit peace out everybody